Hello, I'm here today to talk about something really fun, healthcare or Obamacare, whatever you want to call it. And now here in 2014, this is January of 2014 when I'm filming, filming this, and January 1st was kind of that first cutoff date, and I believe they extended it by a couple of days to register and enroll. And uh, you literally have to be sleeping underneath a rock to not hear about this. It's pretty much affecting everyone in some shape or form. And uh, I saw this article on uh, CNBC that I just had to share uh, and kind of get the word out. And none of this is investment advice or advice on, uh, on, on which plans to pick or anything like that. So uh, you do need to do your own research. What I'm about to tell you is not enough to make a final decision. But this is incredibly important and it, it shocked me when I read it, I was like, wow, this, is, uh, this could be affecting so many more people uh, than, than I ever dreamed of uh, just on the enrollment. And you can talk about the website issues and stuff. This is much, much bigger. And uh, what's happening is what seems like a logical choice is to pick the cheapest plan, meaning the cheapest premium per month. And, uh, and in some cases, it's even saying here that is the worst thing you could possibly do. Because uh, what's happening, a lot of people are going to find out pretty quickly that you're going to be on the hook for a majority of these, uh, these costs. And, and the lesson I want you to come away with is that it's important to understand everything, uh, meaning the, the whole cost of ownership of the entire plan, not just the premium. And here's some examples. Uh, there's a bronze, a silver, and then this uh, platinum number three that they outline here. And this is on a 30-year-old uh, in Chicago. Uh, a 30-year-old's average, uh, average monthly premium would be $222 on bronze, $279 for silver, so a little bit more expensive, and then $338 for platinum. So take that $338 per month that they would have to pay for their health insurance versus $222. Now, if you just looked at those numbers, of course, everyone's going to pick 222 versus 338. But here's some crazy numbers here. And these are just averages, once again, so this is not uh, particularly going to pertain to you. Uh, but on average, a bronze plan, remember that was the cheaper one, the deductible is a little over $4,000. So you have to pay the first $4,000 of anything that, that goes wrong, especially any uh, in, in critical uh, 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 care, anything that really happens uh, bad to you. Uh, the, uh, the deductible for the silver, 2500 versus 4300 and the top of the line platinum, the, the, the top, top, top one, the lowest average deductible was $170 versus $4,000. That is a huge, huge difference. So please keep in mind, this is so incredibly important to do your research, make sure you know what you got, and know the total cost, the total overall cost of your plan, not just the premium that you pay uh, per month. Um, a couple other uh, pieces here that, that is nice about this new health care. A lot of the preventative services, you know, uh, blood pressure and mammograms, et cetera, uh, blood testing, those are going to be free in a lot of cases. Uh, but keep in mind, anything else is going to be coming out of that deductible. So that deductible is incredibly important. I, I urge you to please understand what you have there because the last thing you want to do is think that you're getting all this stuff for free and only paying $222 a month or whatever the number is, and all of a sudden get a bill from the hospital saying you owe $4,000 for, uh, for some kind of serious thing that you had, and uh, all of a sudden you don't have the money to pay it. So please be careful with this, and uh, I'll, I'll be doing some more videos as I, I get more, and uh, stay tuned, and best of luck picking the right plan.